First thing I'll say about this question is that this is exactly the kind of thing that I would leave for my absolute last in the hard module. I just, I can just look at this. I can tell from all these italicized names that this is going to be kind of confusing. It just seems hard. The graph, you know, maybe is a little uh, easy to understand just kind of looking at it. But as we'll see, as we look at the passage, it's actually quite misleading and they, they kind of do this sometimes. So I already don't like the graph and chart questions. I find them very time consuming and very confusing, but this one in particular looks scary. So it's okay to make a question like this part of your sacrifice plan. But if you have time and you're able to get to it, how can you sort through this? Well, my advice is don't bother trying to interpret the graph from the start because we don't really know what it means for something to be a type A fly or a type A B fly. So uh, this is just some things going up and down, but I don't know if this is good or bad or, or what. So we got to look at the passage and this is where it gets confusing. Um, <clears throat> in a study of the evolution of DPTA and DPTB diptus ricin, ricin genes encoding antimicrobial peptides that combat pathogens and foster beneficial microbes in fruit flies, Researchers assessed this particular food fly's resistance to pathogenic infections by these two things, which are bacteria common in the fly's environment. So, oh my God, already, what the heck is going on? Basically, these genes uh, are antimicrobial, they combat pathogens, they foster beneficial microbes. So, dumb summary, these genes are good, is what we're getting here, okay? Continuing. Subjects included flies identified by mutations silencing DPTA, DPTB, or both DPTA and DPTB, termed types AB and AB respectively. So right here is a place where I, the first time I read this, wouldn't have really registered kind of what that means, but here's, here's what that sentence is supposed to be saying, is that when we say type A flies, that's turning off the gene of DPTA. So actually, let me put that here on the graph where we're going to need it. So this means the DPTA is off, right? So we're turning off a gene that we know is helpful, okay? So when we talk about DPTB, these ones here, this is going to be, uh, remember that, that that gene is off. So in, in the case of the B flies, B is off. And in the case of the AB flies, both A and B have been silenced, have been turned off. So the good thing is gone, okay? So continuing. In conjunction with the observation that resistance to P. retgiri correlates with DPTA activity, but is not significantly affected by DPTB activity, data in the graph of survival rates of host A. Sicuri infection suggests that. So they just gave me a conclusion about one type of bacteria, but now we have a graph about a completely different one. So this is just another kind of confusing thing. So what I'm really focused on here is this end part, post uh, a sickery infection. So that's what this graph is about. So, okay, it looks like if we are infecting them with that, the A1s, the type A flies are living and everything else is dying. So what that tells me is that if we turn off B, right? So if B is off, that kills the flies. So uh, it'd be very hard to do this without looking at the choices, but I'm just, I'm doing it because this is so hard to explain. Basically, what this is saying is for this A. sickery, I have no idea how to pronounce this, uh, the B gene matters, right? Because if we turn it off, the flies die. But the A gene doesn't seem to matter because if we turn that off, yeah, the, a couple of them die, but most of them are fine, right? That's the top, that's this bit right here. If we turn off A, it, it, these things are not dying from this infection, where if we turn off B, they're all dead, okay? So B matters, A doesn't, okay? So let's, that's maybe a dumb summary, but oh my God, I've already done way more work for this than I normally would do for any questions. So this is already way past dumb uh, in my opinion here. So, okay, what supports the, is supported by the graph? Okay, DPTA confers defense against A sickery. No, it doesn't, right? That's what we just said, it doesn't, regardless of the presence of DPTD. So regardless is one of those words we should always notice when we have science passages because it's telling you something doesn't matter. So when it says regardless of the presence of DPTB, this is saying B doesn't matter, but we just said that it does. Because if B is turned off, the flies die, right? So we need B to be on, otherwise they die. If it, So this top line here where it says DPTA is off, that is not turning off B. B is still good. So the, they're surviving because they have B. Turn off B, they're dead. So that's me saying this is wrong. 
B, choice B. DPTB protects against only one bacteria species, whereas DPTA protects against multiple species. Now, honestly, if I were doing this, this uh, question, I'd already be nervous because this is starting to quantify things. I know that that's a common trap. Now, obviously, when we have graph and chart questions, we've got numbers involved, so sometimes we do need to quantify. But, you know, I'm, I'm nervous because we're really talking about these fruit flies in the context of just two pathogens, two things that are infecting them, the sicari and the ret gary. So can I really say that for sure that some one of these genes only protects against one species? Maybe it only protects against one of the species in this experiment, but I, I don't know. There's probably lots of other things that could infect these fruit flies, so I don't really know. So this would be a choice where I'd be like, maybe uh, this fits in here, but I don't love it. It feels like it's going beyond in a way that is is scary, whether it's a graph question or just a regular passage question. So I'd leave it in because I'm not really aware of what's going on, but I'm nervous about that choice. This is this is that idea of placing a smart bet. I would not bet on choice B because it has some things that make me nervous. C, DPTB may have developed as a specific defense against a sickery. So that's the thing we were just doing, right? So if we said before that B matters right? Then maybe the DPTB, which is the B, uh, did develop to protect against this thing because if we turn it off, then they all die, right? So maybe the whole point of B is that it saves you from the sickery thing. And so maybe it is true that it developed as a specific defense against that because it is protecting those flies. And if we turn off the B, the flies die. So that is a promising answer. So let's look at D. Defense against asicory is strongest when both DPTDA and DPT are present? No, because that's the AB flies. And look, they're all down here, right? That's the that's the, the square. They're all dead. So no, it's not strongest when, when both are there. Um, or actually, wait, see, I'm messing up. See, this is why this is so confusing. This is, this is AB off. We don't have an AB on, right? So do we? We have A on. Or so uh, this would be B off, uh, oh my gosh, B off, A on. The top one is A off, B on, <laughs> and, and, and AB flies are both off. So do I even know here when both are present? I don't know what's going on. It's not even on the chart, I think. See, I'm, I'm losing it. And I think for me, so the answer is C. At this point, if I had made it this far, if I had the time to answer this question, I'd pick C and I'd be right. But oh my God, it takes a lot to get this far. And for me, the hardest part, I guess, is right in here because my brain has trouble with this. To me, this is kind of like the opposite of what I expect. And the SAT, I think, is doing this on purpose, right? If you tell me I have a type A fly, my brain wants to say that that fly has the type A gene. But they're telling us that no, 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 the type A flies, we've turned off the A gene, right? So it doesn't have that gene, right? I think that I'm right there, right? Uh, they silenced DPTA. So when they say respectively like this, they're, they're listing that order. So the DPTA, uh, the a term, the type A fly, type A fly is the one where we're silencing the A gene, which is confusing. That why do that? Why? I, I mean, I get it, I guess, but that is right in my head. That's the hardest part is I really want to say that the type A fly are the ones with the type A gene, but it's the opposite. So that's why I don't, I don't know how much time you should spend before you do this and look at the passage for, you know, looking at the graph, like the, the graph maybe actually tells us the opposite of what we would expect. It seems like it's telling us that the A gene is the best because it saves the flies. When in fact, it's saying that the A gene doesn't matter because when you turn it off, the flies are fine. So that's the opposite conclusion that I think you would get from the graph. And I, again, I think they do that on purpose. So what do you think about this? I mean, um, how many of you uh, actually had time to solve this and did you get all the way to the end? Is there something that you used to, to make this easier? I don't think there is anything. I think it's just confusing. And yeah, th this is gonna happen, especially in the hard module. You will have questions that just feel unfair. I don't think it's that unfair. You you want to make it hard to get a 1500, a 1600. So you're going to need questions that really, really challenge people. And for most of us, we have to be prepared going into the hard module to sacrifice things like that for the sake of 
not wasting time where we don't have much chance of gaining points, right? So uh, even I am doing that and hopefully I can get through everything else with enough time that I can really play around with this. But I don't think that there is a short solution here. I think it's very difficult to understand all of this. I think it's going to take you time, several minutes, and there's no getting around it. So do the best you can, but don't worry about this if this is like something you're getting wrong.